Welcome to the Ask Connie Anything video series. My name is Connie Vandersand and I am a cash flow and business mentor. Today's question is from Nanette Saylor. You can find her at wisewellwomen.com. She is a possibility partner and creativity coach and she has a podcast called Create, Play, Live. And for those that are interested, Nanette and I had a fabulous conversation on episode 18. Nanette's question is, how to decide how much to pay myself considering tax implications, real personal budget needs, and energetic intentions. And for this purposes, she is an S-Corp. So we already spoke a lot about personal budget needs in episode one. We talked about using the what do I want worksheet and knowing what the minimum bare minimum is that you need to bring in for your household and what you'd like to grow into. That way you have a range that you can pay. We talked a little bit about energetics, but let me talk about this one more time. I can't state enough how important it is for your business to physically pay you. This was a lesson I learned the hard way, and I'm hoping that you will learn it a little easier. What I see a lot of time in businesses at is instead of them taking money into their personal accounts, they will just pay their personal credit card. That's great. That's, you know, it seems like that's a more realistic idea because if you just put it in your personal account and pay your credit card, it's going to same same diff, right? However, the business then energetically thinks only about paying debt. It doesn't see paying your personal credit card as paying you. And depending on your type of entity, like an S Corp, that can also get you into a lot of tax issues. So what I want to encourage you for energetic purposes is that your business needs to pay you, which means transferring it into your personal bank account, whether you're a sole prop or an S Corp, you need to put it in your personal account and then use your personal account to pay all your expenses. So say you're a sole prop, you'll just transfer that into your personal account and then pay all your personal expenses out of that account. As an S Corp, you may want to put some of it in, you can take part as a distribution and part as a wage because we need to take our reasonable wage as an S Corp. And as far as I know, as of this video shooting, a 50-50 split is appropriate. Now, that can change for the tax implication part of this question. So it's super important though, energetically, the business knows that it is supporting you. So it needs to cut you a check, needs to transfer into your personal account to make the, the transfers from there, not just paying directly to a loan or directly to a credit card. So that's the first part. The next is tax implications. Depending on what type of entity you are, you may want to not just pay yourself a salary. You may want to use some of that money as owner's wealth and do a retirement or a pension like a solo 401k. Or you may want to use it to pay health insurance or something else that benefits you. So that gets into the cash handling system that I teach about putting money into actual physical savings accounts and then using that savings accounts to fund those different needs. That's the tax implication question. So tax implication questions, I'm actually going to have to recommend that you actually talk to a tax pro. Now, with that said, not all tax professionals, CPAs, licensed tax preparers are consultants. Most of them, some of them just want to do tax returns. So the only way you're going to know is by asking if your tax pro will give you some consulting. If they don't, you can actually seek one out for an hour to, to review your return and give you some tax advice. You could also try seeking out a financial pro professional, um, for financial advisor, sorry about that, uh, and they can give you some advice. I got some advice from my financial advisor, advisor, that's how I set up the solo 401k. And then I used my payroll this last year as an S Corp to fund that. I didn't take a, a payroll from that because I was getting compensated some other different ways. So that's some tax implications. Now, let's talk about knowing that you, as an S Corp, you have to take a wage. See, if you're just taking, pulling money out left and right, which you can as a distribution, you can get into serious problems though if you're not processing it as payroll. That's where a tax pro comes into play. 
So right now, I know that it's a 50-50 split. 50% 50 I could take as a distribution and 50% of what I want needs to come through a payroll. But I'm not a tax pro. You need to actually have a conversation with them to get that number. So that's it. So we've talked about tax implication, real budget needs, and energetic intentions. Make sure that your business supports you by paying you. Talk to your tax pro. Find a tax pro to give you advice. And make sure you do your what do I want worksheet so you know that the business is supporting your personal needs. Until next time, much love, joy, and of course, always profits. See ya.